Above and next to our refrigerator, you'll find your control panel. The control panel has all of your generator hours, the voltage on the batteries, a couple of lights, your water heater power, your water pump, and your gauges. Your gauges show you what level each of your tanks is. So if you click on the fresh, it'll say two thirds now, it will be full when you pick up. Black is empty and gray is empty. So the lights here correspond to where each of these tanks is at. For your water heater, we typically choose to leave it on electric. It is more efficient and does a perfectly good job of heating the water. It is not quite as fast, but as long as you leave it on, you should be good. For the water pump, you always want the water pump on if you're using the water in the tank. This is because the water in the tank does not have its own water pressure. However, if you plug into a site, you turn the water pump off because the water from your site will have its own pressure. For the generator, you go ahead and press on the stop and prime button until the red light next to it turns on. You count one, two, three, and press and hold on start. You always know that it is turned on when you hear the beep behind you from the microwave.